Hey guys, it's me Matthew, of course, of course, and in this video, I'm back with some more Terraria. I've been playing this quite a lot, um, both by myself and with my boyfriend, and I've learned quite a bit. I'm still not that good at it, but I have learned a lot. Uh, first of all, let's go to video. Change that to color. Okay. So I don't recall where I left off. Um, looks like I fished a little bit, very little bit. I have some bait, night owl potions, which are a little useful. Recall potions, which I don't think, yeah, that's not, a. Uh, that's not going to work. I want to completely redesign a lot of this. But the biggest problem is the lack of inventory space to hold all of that. So, ice chest. I'm going to go through all these items and see what I want to keep and not keep. That wood fishing pole is not that good. I'm going to just toss that. Um, the bass, I'll, I'll keep that just because I can. Anything that can be used as bait, I'll definitely keep. Um, vine rope, I suppose I'll keep that. Keep all the basic stuff. I don't really want to keep the boomerang. I don't really have a cell pile anywhere, so I guess I'll just move everything over here. So anything in the bottom right, I guess I'll sell. Um, did I pick up anything I want to sell? No. Not yet, anyways. Maybe the M statue, but even then, it has its uses. Um, so, first of all, where do I want to make this room of mine? I think I want it to be closer to the surface, so either right here or maybe right over there. Yeah, I think right off the side of the house wouldn't be a bad idea. Didn't necessarily mean to kill a rabbit, but um, unfortunately the sickle will just destroy everything. Why is everything on that tree growing on the left side? That's weird. Um, like the dirt blocks out. And just try to fill that in a bit. I don't know why I'm filling that in, but um, I suppose I can have another entryway over here. Two, three, four. Um, I'm going to be making these videos longer, and I'm actually going to take some time to nicely decorate a lot of these rooms. Okay, computers made a weird noise. For some reason it likes to like suddenly fluctuate the fan and just like make it really loud all of a sudden. Um, I'm gonna go sell this boomerang to him because I don't really want it. It's 23 copper. Oh I know I got some I got 11 silver, 23 copper, okay. Uh, do I have all the materials I want to build with? The stone blocks. Okay, I need to uh, turn these into great bricks. Which I believe I need either the anvil or the blacksmith for. It's not up that way. There it is. Just make a crap ton of those. It's not a pleasant sound, but... Hopefully you can't hear it. 
And I might make some of this. Um, yeah, if I could, I'll, I'll turn all of it into uh, red bricks. Hmm. What else would I want to use for this? I have glass. I might want to make some. Yeah, eight glass walls. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, rich mahogany. Oh yeah, I got mahogany, didn't I? I'm not too far ahead that I couldn't pick up and move to the, um... Um, swamp biome. I would have to cross quite a bit of land to get over there, though. I don't know how worth it it is to move over there. I think it could offer a lot of really neat aesthetics. Um, Hmm. I've traveled quite a bit, haven't I? Oh, do these signify the end? I think they do. Wow. Okay. I see now. That's cool. So I want to... Like, right up there would be a really nice spot to make a home. But I'm way over here. Um, I could try to just sort everything that I want to take and that I'm willing to get rid of. I guess I'll leave things that I'm willing to get rid of in this chest, which is going to be a lot of crap, because, um... I don't care about a lot of this stuff. Like I put all that there. Fireflies, I think I'm going to put them all into um, bottles, but I don't have bottles on hand, so now where is the firefly in a bottle? option. There it is. Um, okay. I think they make a cool light source. Uh, I don't really need the campfire, but I'm going to see if I can pick up a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm fine with leaving most of this see what I can loot. Don't need these potions. The night owl potions. I don't really need the ice block or the ice chest. Um, although that could offer some organizational uses. The snow, I'll just turn that into snowballs. Um, although I don't know how much longer I'm going to be using this snowball cannon. That is a, girl, a gold squirrel. I'm going to go catch that. Now, I don't know if its main purpose is to sell it or... Um, hmm. Whoops. No, I can't sell the him. Ten gold. Um, that is definitely intriguing. I'll have to uh, see about that. I don't really need to take the keg. Um, I guess I'll leave things here that I might want to come back to get. I can use hay to build. Don't really care about sandstone. Um, so I'll leave a lot of the stuff that I don't want here in this chest so I can take most of everything else 
and come back for this if I really want to. Jungle grass seeds. I am going to be getting closer to the jungle, so I don't really need to take that, but... Um, I don't really think I'm going to use the sand for all that much. No, I will make... Hmm... No, I, I'll probably just, um, turn that all into glass here. Just really quick. Try to... That was a weird noise. Cat just made a strange noise all of a sudden. Um, goldfish, I will hold on to that for right now. But if I find that I need room, then... I'll get rid of it. Um, whoops. Chain lenses. Airline mandibles. Take all that I can. Um, I'm gonna leave the goldfish. Leave the goldfish and the pressure plates. The dart trap here. Actually, hmm. I don't need the three cobweb. That's like nothing. Don't really need the ice. I think I already got rid of that before. Worm tooth. Antline mandible. I don't know what I can do with the antline mandibles. I think with the worm tooth I can make unholy arrows, which I think they'd be useful. Okay, the builder potion. I'm not insanely um, worried about. Um, hmm, brown pressure plate. I thought I put that in here. Okay, so I need to free up at least one more spot, although I do need to take quite a few other things, so I guess I will leave a lot of this crap here that I can get a bunch of. Um, I need one, two, what's in that ch chest? Jeez. Okay. Um, loot all of that. Take the piggy bank. That's very useful. Oh yeah, there are quite a few things in here. Um, I guess I'll have to come back. I can make two trips. That's not a huge deal. So for right now, I do want to take... Oh, whoops. I didn't notice I took that. I need to take certain things more than others. Crafting stations and a chest to put stuff in. Oh wait, that still has gold ore in it. Okay, there we go. And then I can come back for everything else when I'm ready to make their rooms and everything. But yeah, a moving day. I don't need to move, probably shouldn't move, but I'm going to. <laughs> Mostly because this biome is boring and uninteresting. It is farther away from the corrupted zone, which will eventually be a little important, but maybe it's possible that the world loops. Um, at least I heard it one I heard it one time. I don't know how accurate that is, but I suppose we'll find out. I forgot that I get I don't have a cloud in a bottle or anything. So traversing is not going to be the easiest.
Yeah, this is probably a bad idea, but it's not necessarily too late. Jeez, that aim. I have been using a lot of magic recently, so I haven't really worried about aim. That could have been bad. Um, okay. Oh, that's not me going through water. No, that's an airline down there. Okay. Yep, that's not good. Let's get my healing potion out. Vultures make such a uh, terrible sound. Not relaxing at all. Oh, grabbed the rope on accident. Oh. Okay, was this the spot that I was talking about? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I suppose I can start by cutting down some trees. I hear a dock, but I don't see the dock. It's to the right somewhere. And now it's to the left, and... Okay, well, I think... One of the ducks just died. Got eaten by a piranha. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do real quick is take some gray brick and just put down one chest and deposit all. Let's see here. I'm not really uh, in the need of... Did it really take my gun out of my... I might have moved the gun around. Whoops. But I'm not going to be sorting inventory until I get everything over here. And even then, I don't know if I'm going to be bothering with the sorting inventories for a while. But then once I clear this out and get rid of that water on the side, I'll probably keep that other waterfall and make it look pretty eventually. But that is not priority number one. Let me make a new base. Okay. Um, dirt. I need dirt now. Um, where's dirt? Did I take dirt? Yes, I did. of it and then replace it. Okay. I suppose I can take the hay out too. Maybe see if that's worth uh, using to build. What does it look like? Well, that doesn't look terrible. A little strange, though. I'd probably keep that for the roof, if anything. Um, so, starting with the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 30. I don't know why I chose 30, but that's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to be. There we go. And 
And I suppose for right now, I don't think I took any doors with me, did I? Now I wanted to use mahogany wood. Because I haven't used that like at all, but I suppose this can be a um, temporary base. Or at least um, the home base. And then to the left I might make a bunch of... Um, Housing for everyone. Thirty-one. Uh, I suppose all stretches out to thirty-two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Not that the height really matters at the moment. Three, four, five. Um. Yeah, I think. That would work well. Um, I have crap tons of just regular wood. So I might as well just use that. Okay, that's the right height. Just for now, I'm going to focus on making this main big room for me. Whoops. I didn't want to do either of those things. Did I run out of torches? Yes, I did. Okay, so let's place down... Oops, that was loud. Let's place down all of the working stations. And also determine... Um, I suppose this is where I can have stairs going up and down. But how many do I need? I need five. So five wide. Take all that wood out. Sawmill. Uh, anvil. Loom. I need my bed. And that's all the main important stuff. I'll probably use that somewhere else. I am not sure yet. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. dig down here and make a bit of a basement. It's three, four, five down. And then six, because I'm going to replace the floor. And since I've only built a frame, I can probably replace the rest with the mahogany if I wanted to. Which we'll see. for later to uh, build bridges and that's pretty much it. I'll probably get rid of a lot of the water down there. I don't know how all that works. It looks like the regular grass is encroaching upon the jungle grass, which is annoying. I'm going to have to stop that. This is probably a terrible idea. Probably should have just stayed over there, but it's too late now. It's going to take time, but this is an ASMR video, so it doesn't really matter. So in that case, it's a great idea. I don't think I have to worry about 
anything happening just yet. I don't think any of the um, requirements have been met to spot any bosses on me. I sure hope not anyways. Whoops. Okay, there we go. And did I bring my hammer with me? I hope I did. I guess I didn't. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I didn't. Um, oh, and there's my torches. So in that case, I guess I just need to start putting down the uh, crafting stations. Which I suppose I can also put down some of these fireflies. It's a nice green light. And I'll put the furnace like right there. The anvil right here. Um sawmill over here. First let's make a yeah rich mahogany workbench. And then the sawmill. And then the loom over here, maybe. I don't know if this the loom needs to be that close to all that stuff. I'm not sure how all that works. Um, one thing I just noticed is I need a chair next to the workbench. Because I believe that opens up more um, crafting recipes. Um, let's see here. Oh uh, yeah, the fireplace. I don't know what the uh, chair next to the crafting bench unlocks, but... Um, no, I need to put my bed somewhere. Which I suppose the spawn area for me could be around here. That's gonna be a door. Um, uh, a doorway. So, maybe I'll put my bed upstairs then, at some point. Make myself a little room. Uh, this... Hmm, let's take this ice chest and just deposit all. Loot all. Deposit all. Take the gold chest. And I'm going to uh, make crap. Well, that didn't work out. Make some mahogany platforms to put the chest right above the furnace. Which doesn't really make that much sense um, fire hazard wise, but let's see if I can put one more platform right there so I can access that chest. Loot all. Okay. Now this is going to have all of the metals in it. Um, and glass, probably. Probably the dirt too, and the stone. Although I'm gonna need the stone and glass. So I'll keep those out for right now. That works. Um, this ice chest, I don't know what 
that's gonna be in the ice chest. Um, I guess I can put that right here, and this will be for now, like wood and stuff like that, or hmm, that, I'm gonna actually put this back up there. What was that? Oh boy. That just happened. Sorry about uh, the long moment of not being here. My cat decided to start causing problems. <laughs> so for right now, this chest is going to have a lot of the random crap that I'm not using from potions to animals and insects and all that. I do need to find a place to put the piggy bank. This can hold the lenses. Sticky bombs, because I don't need that at the moment. And I'll put the gold ore in this, because I didn't notice that earlier. And this could also probably hold the gel. I guess. I don't really know where else to put that. Um, hmm. And I need to make a bunch of mahogany platforms. I don't know what my cats are doing. They're being a huge pain, but hopefully that'll solve the problem. Um, I don't know if that would be enough space for a staircase, a proper one. It might be. I also need to make a hammer. And where... There it is. Okay, good, it's using the normal wood. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And let's see here, I want to make a couple doors. At least two for right now. So I can get in and out of this house without issue and also keep things from coming in. And then downstairs I'm going to have stone walls, stone brick walls. I don't know how many walls I'm going to need, but probably a lot. This is just going to be my crafting dungeon. Because it's going to kind of look like a dungeon of sorts. I wonder if this will be considered a room that someone can inhabit. I guess we'll find out once I'm done putting all of this down. I'm not sure if the platforms will mess with um, 
if this is considered a room or not. I don't think it will, but it very well might. Okay, so I think that's all of the... I can't, like, uh, go around the chest, so... Let's see, housing, can I put... Yeah, I can put people in here, so I'm gonna put the demolition... Demolitionist, can I... Okay, there we go. So the demolitionist's room will be my crafting room. And I'm gonna convert all of the stone brick walls back into gray bricks. Well, at least most of them. Um, I suppose since all the masonry stuff is going to be dealt down here, uh, I'll keep the rest of those gray bricks for now. Oh wait, I have quite a bit. But I'm probably going to just do some like this. Have a nice little walkway out where random crap won't grow. Eventually, I might have a nice staircase going down there. Probably not made out of platforms, so it's fully functional. Um, and then I can make a staircase going up, which, if I made it going up that way, one, two, three, four. So yeah, I can. I can probably do this. Two, three, four, five. Well, that doesn't really work how I want it to, so I'm going to get rid of that and make it go the other way. And I might have to... Yeah, do that. Make sure the housing didn't get messed up. Good. Jeez, I'm bad at that. biggest problem is going to be getting in and out of the um, yeah that's gonna be an issue so I don't think this staircase is going to work here so maybe I don't need to put a staircase here I don't know That might work a lot better. Yeah, that that functions. Okay. So that's done. I'm going to get rid of all of this. We'll replace the um the bricks above the door in a bit. I don't even have enough rich mahogany to replace all the stuff I've got rid of so far. So let's go cut down some rich mahogany. And do I have any acorns on me? No, I don't. Slimes. Jungle slime. Oh boy. Now, jungle bat, go away, ouch, okay, let's take that out, so this is an issue with being in the jungle, <laughs> I'm gonna have to like fence this area off, um, so that 
things don't spawn here too much. And also, like, gate it off so that I, I don't have to deal with all these constant enemies. So I think I'm going to try doing that at the very least. Is gated off just a little bit. Um, regular wood, because it doesn't really matter at the moment. This is just for functionality. And now they're coming in from my house area. That's lovely. Oh, butterflies. I don't have my net on me. Oh well. And slowly chop down mahogany trees. Okay, so replanting this isn't going to be the easiest. Um, I don't know how this works. I might have to... As much as I like the waterfall, or, oh, I have a better idea. I'm just going to try to make it go into a nice little lake of sorts or pond right here. A dirt block. Okay, Let's see if I can get rid of all that ugly dirt wall background. Now, getting back up is going to be annoying. Should have thought about that a little bit more. Okay, okay. None of them have dropped a hook yet, huh? Um, let's see here. I already had a few of those mahogany platforms. Oh, come on. There we go. It's not the easiest solution, but it is a solution of some kind. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I just got rid of the waterfall for now, but I can replace that later. Just uh, leave it as it is, and maybe eventually I'll put a waterfall feature. I guess I can put a waterfall feature farther out. Um, where did the dirt go? Did I use it all up? Or am I just... I must be blind or something. Oh, there it is. I was looking all over here, not over there. Go away. So the idea was to make a long platform of dirt. doesn't look pretty. I'm going to try to make it look prettier later, but for now this works. Um, cut it off from all other 
dirt so that it doesn't spread grass. And that can, that's not going to work for uh, the staircase, so I'm not going to continue that. I'm going to go get the grass seed, jungle grass seed. And put that all over this, if I can. Does it need to be underwater to work? How does this work? Hmm. I guess that is considered jungle grass then. Where do I need to put it on? No, that's very confusing. Hmm. So how does this work then if I wanted to grow jungle trees or mahogany trees? So if I just put, let's get rid of that hammer, I don't need to use that right now. Okay, I got off blue slime. So I just put dirt down right here. Nope, that doesn't work either. Jungle grass seeds. I'm gonna have to look that up on the wiki, which I can do because I believe I have the wiki open right now. Um, so for the moment, I'm gonna go right here. Alt tab, open up the wiki, and look up jungle grass seeds. I have two different wikis open because one gives a lot more information than the other. It can be planted in mud blocks to go to grow jungle grass, potentially creating an artificial jungle or underground jungle depending on the depth. If enough jungle grass and plants are created, jungle grass seeds can be found by cutting down plants growing on jungle grass. How do I make mud? I'm assuming I need dirt blocks and I just need to be in a source of water. At least that's how it makes sense to me anyways. Can I just make mud here? Yes I can. So I'll just get rid of this whole dirt layer. Never thought about mud. Not something I use like ever. Now I got zombies coming at me from each direction. It's really annoying, even though I have that blocker there and a house up there, they still keep coming at me. Guess I'll do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, it doesn't really matter. That's good. One, two, three. I'm gonna save the last jungle gr uh, grass seed that I have at the moment for um future underground jungle projects, although I'll probably find another by that point. And just to signify the end of that, I'll fill that in with like regular dirt or something later. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that because that's a lot of work to fill that in. I can put some random torches here and there, and then continue to cut down mahogany trees. Die, you stupid bat. I kind of 
wish it was more possible for there to be easier downtimes where you don't have to worry about mobs other than like putting yourself in a bubble and putting down fences everywhere which I don't know if I can put fences underwater but I probably could but I'll look into that after later whatever Only one of those trees dropped an acorn. And somehow they'll grow underwater. But I can't place them there. That's really annoying. Um, okay, so one thing I really need to do is make a spawn point. And I'm also going to, I think, work on making a staircase down. I'll probably be at a stone brick. There's the regular dirt. Alright, yay, my mahogany. to figure out how to do this and make it look pretty. I guess I can add it um, under. I probably didn't need to go through all this effort, but I did it anyways. Just kind of carefully. I don't want to waste gray brick too much even though eventually I'll get more than enough stone at the moment. It's a little on the sparse side. But I have a good staircase. Um, I probably will just make a bunch of regular wood platforms and put this down. Not slowly or delicately. Because <laughs> the delicate part is slowly turning just the wood platforms into staircases. Because I can't turn the stone into staircases for some reason. I can make it a slope, but I don't want a slope. This is not a handicap accessible base, unfortunately. Okay, I think that looks nice. Um, just because I keep putting the stairs everywhere, I might as well. The stairs going straight into the water. And I have not gotten any acorns for that. Go away. Okay, maybe I have enough mahogany wood. Yes, yes I should. I really need to uh, change the look of the zombies. Because some of them look really bad. Although I, I heard um, recently from my boyfriend that uh, they're going to 
be releasing a huge update for Terraria, which I need to look into, because since I've been getting into Terraria for the first time, like, ever, that's something I need to uh, pay attention to, especially now that I'm recording it. Um, I don't know. Depending on the changes, I may or may not um, restart. Uh, I don't want to restart, but if the changes are dramatic and not all of them will transfer over, then I will uh, look into possibly restarting just so that I can experience all the new stuff. Um, let's see here, I need to make mahogany walls. Not sure how much I need, although I'll probably need a lot. Because I'm going to be making the rest of this house out of mahogany, probably. At least everything above ground. expecting with mahogany, but I thought it was going to be more of a, um, I don't know, tropical or swampy kind of look to it, but this kind of looks like a regular, kind of like a generic log cabin, something the boreal wood should look like, probably, but it doesn't look terrible or anything. Just nothing special. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay. So I want to make... This room should be able to function as a place to put my bed. Whoops, that's not what I want to put down there. There we go. And just loot all from that so I can move that chest. And all I don't want to put my bed down here for right now. It's a good spawn point. And I am going to take this piggy bank and... Uh, I'm going to go down here, make a mahogany table, or dresser. Mm -hmm. Dresser looks more interesting. And I'll put the piggy bank right there. And I didn't look to see all the mahogany candles and stuff that I can make. Um, okay, there they are. Candelabra. I'll just make a normal mahogany candle for right now. That looks kind of boring, but boring isn't necessarily bad. I like the firefly lighting. I love it. Okay, and then the rest of this house, I don't know much, I don't know how much taller I want to make this house, because I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to get too tall. Because the last one was getting there. I kind of want to separate it into a bunch of different buildings with different styles to each and every one of them. This window right here. Maybe another. Yeah. That's a weird window setup, honestly. Um, I'll probably deal with other windows later. No, 
that's pretty that's pretty good right there and I think I might actually separate this into its own little room since someone else is probably gonna want to move in there no one has done that yet but I just know it's gonna happen because of course it's gonna happen and for that I need a door where's the mahogany door out oh, there it is doesn't really make sense for an inside door but doesn't really matter you're gonna see it from that perspective the traveling merchants awesome and let's see I guess the guide can come over here. It's not like sharing a room in this really means anything. Shop, ooh, magic hat. Mysterious cape, red team platform, life form analyzer. That's all the gold that I have. Oh yeah, I have the gold squirrel. Sell that and how much is this worth? Two gold. I don't necessarily need the snowball cannon yet. Um, yet. I mean, I don't need it, but right now it's like the only thing that I have. I would definitely want to get the life form analyzer. The mysterious cape is just for decoration. The magic hat would actually be a little useful later on when I actually have magic to cast. And it looks interesting. So I'm gonna take that. Take all this ugly dye off too, because oh hey, I can sell all this dye, can't I? Here we go. Got some of the gold back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stick all of this extra crap in this ice chest, which I will put in this room. Um, oh yeah. Hmm, I don't need the fleeting shackle. I'll keep a lot of this stuff just because... And I think that's where I'm going to end this particular episode. I've reached an hour long, and it is getting late. Um, yeah, I, I should get to bed, even though I would love to record another hour of this. That'd be a little too irresponsible of me. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Kill that goddamn goldfish because that is really annoying there's two of them i'm just gonna get rid of this okay hopefully that doesn't happen again but yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider leaving a like subscribing uh leaving a comment down below um sharing the video if you really liked it and that's about it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.